We are talking. Never the, gets old. No, no, never gets old. We're taking over the top de uh, holiday decorations. Love them or hate them, they are Clark Griswolds <laughs> all over. They're in every fact, place. They're every place. Um, there's controversy brewing in a Los Angeles neighborhood as we speak over an elaborate Christmas display. Now, the lights and decorations have become such an attraction on Candy Cane Lane. <laughs> That's really that's the name of the street that vendors have showed up to sell toys and hot dogs. Now, some neighbors are complaining about the noise and traffic. Homeowner says he has been putting up homemade decorations since 1974 <laughs> and says a Scrooge or two won't stop him. So, do you love those over the top displays? Okay, here we go. I do love I do like all those over the top displays. Yeah. However, I don't know how happy I'd be <laughs> If it was my neighbor, there's a fun. Like, I yeah. like them. I, I like them. I drive by. I would see them. I would listen to the music and everything else. But there comes a point, and then when the vendors show up, yeah. <laughs> well, if you're in the mood for a hot dog, well, yeah, if could you're be hungry, a good thing. yeah, sure. I must say, there's a fine line between over the top fun and tacky. Right. You know, I sometimes it's, uh, uh, but then again, that's your house. Sure. You do what you would like, and it's just for you know one month or a few weeks a year. Right. I mean, if something's extravagantly bright and almost blinding, I mean, that's fine, but. If, I mean, if planes are trying to <laughs> land in your yard, then we might have a little bit of an issue. But I do like that it puts people in a good mood. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, if you could just bear with it for a while, it's right. Harm. I know, I know. <laughs> However, if you're if you if it's your neighbor's house and you, look, you can't get out of your driveway. <laughs> got a guy selling hot dogs outside. <laughs> outside your house. Look, it, it's not Rockefeller. You know, it's not Rockefeller Plaza. Yeah, but some people treat it like it is, and yeah. there's nothing wrong with being festive. But I think you need to take other people into consideration. Sure, just a little bit. Yeah, just a just little bit. If you, you know, like in that in Christmas vacation when the neighbor Julia Louis Dreyfus and the husband Todd and Margot, I right, believe, right, are the names, yeah. are trying to sleep, and, and Griswold's yeah. display is you know <laughs> illuminating into the window. Then that might be a little. It's, it's one of my favorite movies. It's so good. I do love. I do love that. I don't like to watch it till closer to the. But that just, just that right there was a little preview yeah. for me, even though I've seen now, it a million times. Now the the light thing, I don't mind it all. I I don't mind it all. Like if they've got the lights all over the mm -hmm. house and everything, the inflatables, I'm a little eh, so so on. Look, and some people go out and they have like the laser show. Too, yeah. Which I don't. I don't know if that I'm into. Like if it's is it like. Pew, pew, you know why? Because that's going to bring other people from who don't live in the neighborhood to the neighborhood. Right. Yeah. And I just I'm just trying to get into my driveway. Sure. Sure. Across the moat and into the driveway. Right. Right, exactly. Now so, uh, we're going to check in with Michaela, who is who is down in Newport, a place that's decorated beautifully, not tacky at all. Would you mind it if it was your neighbor? Uh, two words, guys. Time limit. Yes. I think that's the biggest thing. Right. I don't care. You know what? I, I'm all for Christmas. I don't care if it looks like Rudolph threw up on your lawn because you got so <laughs> many items. No, I'm serious, though. This is the time where you can get away with obnoxious things, giant inflatables, a million lights, whatever it might be. But I think it's just like a noise ordinance, right? There needs to be some sort of like light ordinance where, okay, you got to shut things down. Everyone needs to go to bed, have a normal life. Right. I I actually would enjoy if one of my neighbors kind of went kooky and crazy with this because I really love all those Hallmark movies where they're walking through the Christmas town and you're just surrounded by little hot chocolate cards right. and decorations everywhere. So I think, like I said, there's a limited amount of time that you can get away with doing this. So mm -hmm. why not go for it? So do we think as long like, as you're respectful. Do we think like 10 o'clock is a good time? I think that's a good call. 10 o'clock. Yes, we, we yeah, good right. cutoff. Right, so even, go even 9 o'clock is probably because it gets dark. So early now. Sure. All right. So let's let's we'll, let's go with 9:30. We'll go half. Okay. All right. We'll go happy nine, medium. We'll go with a happy medium. We'll give you till 9:30 to keep your lights on and the music and the lasers going. Well, maybe we can get that legislated. In the, yeah. well, we'll try that. <laughs> no, we should we should take a vote. Maybe the hot dog stand. Mm, I'm not so sure. I don't know. I like a good hot dog. <laughs> I really haven't been able to let go of that one. Imagining if I had access to a hot dog can we get cart. Those, can we get those like spinny lights? Yeah, I think that would be yeah, like the Santa, like with the reindeer, like circling around, like as you buy at the. As long as it's shut down. Yeah. Between normal Nine and ten. Nine and ten. That's right. <laughs> then we're good with it. All right. Then we're good. Well, Merry, I'll tell Merry you. Christmas. You already know what yes. I'll tell all of you. You all know who lights up our day. Oh, that's you. Uh, well, oh, you're too kind. But in this case, I'm talking our social media friends and followers. Here we go. Anne Marie Capo Bianco Lemoy loves being festive. We go all out. Love decorating for Christmas. Charlene Corb Williams wouldn't complain like those folks in L.A. I don't mind if homeowners want to go all out with decorations. I enjoy riding.
riding around checking out all of the displays. And Laura Gregg loves decorating, sharing in part. I love it. And to see all the kids' faces light up, the more the lights, the merrier. That's what I say. Thanks, everyone. We appreciate you chiming in and sharing your thoughts. You know, people ask me all the time. They say, be money. How can I get my name on the road show? And it's simple. Just like us and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Leave your comment, and you might even see B Money reading it right here on the road show. Thanks for playing along. For now, we want to send it into the kitchen. W Money, take it away. Thank you, sir.